everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a Q&A with my mom. Firstly, I do want to apologize if it sounds echoey. You guys are actually in the cabinet of our hotel room, but you guys wanted to ask my mom some questions, so I hope you guys all enjoy. Currently, the morning we recorded this video as well, I'm on the road back to Vegas to actually move in officially, so hope you guys all enjoy. Thank you for all of you guys who are sending questions. This comes from I Am Turtle. Do you think your son will ever get a girlfriend? Well, you know, he is, you know, 23, so almost 23, so doubtful at this point in time. How old were you when you got your first job? I guess it could be both of us. My first job was actually at a Mongolian grill. I stopped by after checking out a Craigslist ad. And so for all of you out there who are younger trying to, you know, make random amounts of money, I actually found a job on Craigslist. I showed up with a group of friends and they paid us 10 bucks an hour to drive around town and drop off flyers everywhere. So that was my first job. I think I was... I think in eighth grade or a freshman in high school, so probably 14 years old. Mine was 14 too. I started a paper out uh, when I was going into eighth grade. That was my first job. In between there, we started walking beans and detasseling corn. Are you proud of Jake? And how do you feel about him moving? All right, seriously, do you have to ask that first thing in the morning so you get me crying at the start of the day? I'm proud of Jake just for 8,400 different reasons. He's just a good young man and uh, inside and out. Um, so don't get me crying there. How I feel about him moving, I'm excited. I'm not going to pull the mom card, so I'm going to go with excitement and just jazz for all that is to come. When did you first hear about my YouTube career? Like, when did I first actually tell you about it? Well, this is a little suspect because, um, you know, I'm thinking somewhere, it, it seemed like it was in high school. It, it, it may have been back further, like eighth grade things started stirring with this kid where we were just noticing some things going on with him and he was a little active in his room on his computer and talking to himself an awful lot. So we thought something was up. So how did you react to it? And were you with him from the start or did it take for you a while to accept it? Uh, no, actually, I was pretty excited. I, I didn't have a clue as to what he was doing. I just to make sure he was being safe and wasn't giving out all our social security numbers and you know, account information. And after we got that validated, I was okay with it. And you already answered a little bit earlier, but is she, are, is she proud of you? Are you proud of me? I'm sure most of your parents are proud of you guys too. And, and I think that's probably the best reward a parent could have. He hasn't done anything but maybe one thing that I was embarrassed about. We won't have to go into that, but, <laughs> but oh. yeah, that thing, yeah. Is it good? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And this one comes from Gibbsy. Now that's a nice hat. How the frick did he know I was wearing a hat? <laughs> Okay, how is that possible? I don't know. He must have... Do you know much about CSGO? First of all, what does CSGO stand for, Mom? Hang on. Four letters. Hang on. CSGO. Gosh, I always forget. It's just an acronym to me. I hear so many. Give it, come on, give it a whirl. CSGO. I mean, I would think Carol Smart Go. Yeah, we're just going to move on from that. <laughs> so pretty much my mom knows nothing about CSGO. So I make CSGO news videos. My parents just know I make YouTube videos. That's that's pretty much all they really know about video games, which is fine. Moms shouldn't really know about that you kind of stuff. probably should know more. Do you imagine sitting down at the dinner table and asking your mom about, she asked how your day in CSGO was and she's talking about like all the weapons and stuff. It'd be a bit weird, so it's fine where you're at. <laughs> okay, question for mom. Who's the better twin? For those of you who don't know, oh. I'm a twin. I have a twin sister, Jenny. You've seen her probably three years ago in a Q&A. You know, duh. I mean, it's Jake. I mean... I mean, Jenny didn't get a job in esports. Just okay, just watch that clip back. I just want to say I sounded like the biggest douchebag out there because my job in esports, I could be fired at any minute possible. So I just want to take that line back and uh, continue. And you know what? There wouldn't be twins if it wasn't for Jake. I mean, I think he, he helped Jake. You, you are right. He you made are sure right. Jenny was If okay. only one of us came out, exactly. there wouldn't be twins. Exactly what I was thinking the whole time. So, so if I'm not here, she's not she a twin. This question doesn't get asked. Clear. How does she feel now that you're going to be all on your own in Vegas without them? <laughs> Who is this guy? Okay, to be honest with you, yeah, I've already had a couple cries. Mm. I'm gonna start crying again. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard. Way to go, Ram Rip! Yeah, you got what you wanted? Okay, I'm crying. No, but actually, way to go, because I also asked you guys to ask tear jerkers. This is what we... <laughs> yeah, this is what he strives for. You know, say the least, it's a pretty big move for both 
my parents and for me, like a lot of stuff going on. What you guys don't see is I finally got the apartment. This is our hotel room, but a bunch of stressful things going on that I just, I couldn't even imagine. So without my mom's help and my dad's help, it wouldn't even be possible. So we have a lot to go though, a long ways to go. And uh, they'll be visiting on early on. So it won't be, it won't be that big of a move. It's, it's no, no, only, we'll be here every other weekend. Only 1200 yeah. <laughs> miles. Uh, question from Dennis. What makes you keep doing YouTube even when you're, you were in college? Great job on your videos. Thank you, Dennis. What made me do YouTube throughout college was actually an internship my sophomore year summer, and I had no internship my junior year summer, so I thought if I enjoy making videos enough, if I think I can actually make a career out of it, which I was crossing my fingers hoping for, that was what the motivation was. So um, a lot of people who watch my videos maybe want to go into esports themselves in the future. They don't really have a platform or a voice out there. I would really encourage you to try and make one and try and pursue that, and I felt like I was lucky enough to have an audience or viewers or you guys watching, so to, to waste that would be kind of you know a wasted gift so that was what kind of helped me out I, I started YouTube a long time ago and once I caught that traction you kind of realize how lucky you are to have that platform so that motivated me throughout college and that's going to continue to motiv motivate me throughout my career as well um, I know I have a full-time job but I'll also continue to YouTube on top of that your mom gay lol she give birth to a boy lol <laughs> <laughs> all right well next question okay is Jake still a virgin well, my short answer to that would be, I'm a gamer, so... <gasps> now that Jake will live in Vegas, do you guys see each other trying your luck at some nice casinos and Jake vlogging it? First of all, a big rule here is no recording, no filming, no pictures inside casinos. I did sneak a picture, though, of my mom and my dad last night we were here, and they, they lost a good amount of money. So here's the picture on screen really quick, but you're not supposed to record and vlog, that kind of stuff. Um, bouncing off that, though, I will actually be coming back to vlogs. I'll be doing vlogs again uh, here uh, in Vegas, so on this YouTube channel, so you're already here. When was it you realized that your son has a viable career and not just playing a video game? Is dad on board? Like most of you guys, I bet most of you guys that do this are really talented and you just don't know it. I I think within a very short time, Jake's probably freshman year of college, I think you just, excuse me, high school, you just knew he had a gift for presentations and conversations and answering questions and loving just contacts. So um, completely there very early on. And dad is totally on board. Um, we um, are learning as we go. How has it been to see your son grow up from a young little baby to the man he is today? And how has being a mother impacted your life? Oh. That's a loaded question. Well, first of all, it's been crazy fast. It's been fun. It's been funny. He doesn't uh, cause a lot of anxiety or stress. So in our family, he has been easy to raise, really fortunate in that way. And how it is now seeing him grow up and move away and begin his career, it's exciting, but it's also, you kind of step back and think, okay, that's a pretty neat thing that we made. We're able to be lucky enough to raise him. <sighs> Seriously? <laughs> Number two. <laughs> but no, we're, we're really, I hate to overuse the word blessed, but we feel very, very fortunate. And this one's from Goose. If you don't remember Goose, um, I think I gave you a call during the charity stream. He was one of the big donors, and he says, remember. are you guys going to visit each other often? Yeah, actually, um, Jake doesn't know, but we've already uh, bought a, uh, a house here, and we uh, are going to be coming here probably every other weekend, if not every weekend for sure. So, um, yeah. It's so the entire family's moving to Vegas. That's a joke, by the way. All right, this is the last question. Uh, Elite Game says, Coke or Pepsi? And I really have a short answer. Neither of us do drugs, so... Pepsi it is. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys all enjoyed. And seriously though, um, this is probably like my second or third video with my mom. So if you guys don't know my mom, her name is Carol. She'll probably be on the channel whenever she does visit Vegas. But seriously, we cannot thank you guys enough. So we're currently on the road right now at the point of you guys watching this to move into Vegas, into my new apartment. It's a big step in both of our lives. And we cannot thank you guys enough for being here and watching these videos. So uh, as always, my name is Jake. This is Carol, my mom. We love you guys all. We'll see you sometime soon. Goodbye, guys. Bye, guys.